G'day guys, welcome to the vlog today, right now at the moment actually. I'm leaving to go to a book sale, see if I can pick up some books, see if I can pick up some books today. I'm going to one of the southern suburbs in Melbourne. It is about an hour plus drive from where I am now, so I'm leaving here at about 10 to 8, so I can hopefully get there by around 9 o'clock. That's what I've got planned for today. I'm taking Surly with me. It's in the back there. I'm planning to hit up some thrifts in the city as well. And there is some suburbs like Brunswick and others that have quite a lot of thrifts on the one sort of road. But it is really difficult to find a park sometimes because it's pretty chockers in the city. So I was just planning to park the car in one spot and just commuting with the bike to ride to all the thrifts. I've got the panniers on the back as well so I can put all my finds in there. But let's head out. Today is so windy. I don't even think I want to ride my bike around because it's that windy. But I got the Surly out. There's a thrift store about 500 meters from here. So I'm gonna go hit that up right away. So it has been a while since I've been in the city. Kinda of like going to the city here and there. But I did go to one of the thrifts there on my bike and I managed to pick up a book for like 30 bucks, 30, 30 USD it sells for. I paid like two bucks for it. But I was quick to get back outside because we're not in Japan, you know. I don't have a bike lock for my bike. And I don't like leaving it out the front, especially in Australia. I thought Australia was safe, but going to Japan, I now know that it's not so safe. Japan is like the most safest country in the world. Well, it's definitely the most safest country I've ever been to. So if I'm gonna keep using my bike, especially in Brunswick and stuff, I'm gonna have to get a lock so then I can lock it up. Well, I go into the thrifts because you just can't trust people around here. There's, there's safe to say dodgy people around here. And I know maids that are renowned for having their bicycles stolen as well. So it's nothing to risk. I don't know why I don't go to more thrifts in the city. I guess it's just because I live so far away, but there's always good stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. It's so annoying, I found this really sick Kooji vintage sweater. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind, but it was like blue and it had like the 3D print and stuff. It was a pretty sick piece and there was no price on it. And I asked her how much it was and she's like, oh, I can't sell it because there's no price. So I had to come back Monday for it. There's no way I'm coming back Monday and there's no way it's going to be sticking around until then. So pretty disappointing, but it was like a $100 plus piece. So it would have been pretty awesome to get, but such a bummer. Damn. It's so freaking windy today that a tree has blown over and it's literally laying over the top of the road. This is vlog worthy stuff, you guys need to check this out. I was on my way to, this is on Brunswick Street, I'm just heading into this brotherhood across the road here. I've got to find a park, but if you can see down the road there, there's a tree over the road. I want to drive under it just for you guys. Hopefully it's not bad luck to drive under a tree that's fallen down, but we got to do it. Ah, oh, looks like a pretty good clearance. Looks like a couple of meters. I should be able to fit under there easy. That's so cool. That's awesome. You. Oh, the wind is hackers today. Closer look at the tree from a different perspective. It's been uprooted real bad. So I'm making my way back home now and my dad just sent me a message. He said that the car is fixed. So he must have went upon himself to install that new part on my car. So now I don't have to worry about installing it. And apparently it's all good. So I think the car is almost ready to go. It's going to get some cooler for it. And I think it should be ready for a trip that I'm planning hopefully Monday in a couple of days. Hopefully that goes to fruition. So I made it back home, but I am driving my car right now because dad fixed it and I'm taking it for a test drive around the block again. And it's such a more smooth car now, so much better. There's no coolant light on the dash or anything like that. Problem solved, thanks dad. So the part is in here, nice clean new part. Problem solved. I thought I might go for a bit of a drive. I just went down to Druin to get some pizza for dinner. Good excuse to give the car a test drive, I reckon, and see how it's really performing. And it's doing really good. I got a family pizza. Shout out to Jack's Pizza Shack. I got a, uh, I got, I got barbecue meat lovers. I'm starving. 